think I'm fat phobic. What's up guys, it's your girl Ill Just Living. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, so it is the new year and this year I plan to be more honest with myself and of course with my supporters. With that being said, I have a confession to make. I am fat phobic. <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm fat phobic. I really, I really, am I fat phobic? Like for myself, I don't mean, let me, let me just be clear. I'm not talking about against other people. I'm talking about towards myself, okay? So don't go canceling me before I even get started, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about, I have fat phobia. Maybe it's fat phobia. Maybe I don't mean fat. So what did I say the first time? Fat phobic. Maybe I have a fat phobia. Is it the same thing? Let me Google it. I'm getting on here trying to be all transparent with my feelings. And I don't even know what the word means. Fat phobia. Fat, fat phobic. Also known as anti-fat is the implicit and explicit bias of overweight individuals that is rooted in a sense of blame and presumed moral failing. Okay, maybe I'm fat phobic towards myself because I don't care what nobody else does with their lives. But I care about mine, okay? And yeah, who else am I to blame if I'm, blame if I'm overweight? Of course I would blame myself if I'm overweight. Who else's fault is it? And don't start talking to me about all the medical stuff. I don't want to hear that. I'm talking about me, me personally, okay? Because I have a medical story for you as well. Now, my goal for this year, my goal for every year is to lose weight. I know. And I have tried over and over and over and over and over and over again. And many of you have, have seen videos and challenges of me actually losing some weight and then gaining it back. But this year, we're not going to... We might, we might lose weight and gain it back. We're going to keep, we're going to keep on trying. Okay. We're going to keep trying because this is not the lifestyle that I want for myself. I mean, I'm still cute. Don't get it twisted. But when I look on the scale, especially recently, I was like, oh, hell no. Like, what is this? I ain't seen this weight since I first started dieting after I had the baby. So that's a problem and we got to fix it. I mean, we're in our thirties, baby, and we just started having kids. So that means we got to live a longer time. So that means we got to get some of this weight off of us because just because we're healthy now doesn't mean we're going to be healthy in 10, 15 years if we keep at this pace. So even if it's just for a moment, your girl is, we got to shut this thing down and get it back. Okay. So I guess I'm fat phobic towards myself because like I said, I don't hate people for being big. But when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm not happy with me and what I see with me. Okay. Sometimes I am, but then I take a picture and I'm like, what? That is not the same person I see. You know, sometimes the picture we have in our head, it's not reality. <laughs> sometimes it is. Don't get it twisted. But sometimes it's not. And sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, ooh, yes, yes. Boom, bam, pow, get it, get it, get it. And then I take a picture. And then I'm like, how is this the same person? Or if I'm like doing a video or reel or have someone to take a video of me, I'm like, this is not the same person I see every day. I think you're delusional and deserve to be picked down like a dog. I only said one piece was mint. What the f so the person that I see in the, in the mirror in my head, that's the person I want to reflect on these pictures and these videos that I'm seeing in this scale, darling, and this scale, okay? So, yeah. So no, technically I'm not fame, fat phobic towards other people, um, but I'm, I'm going to be towards myself because I need to get this weight down. Oh, girl, it's not trying to have high blood pressure, heart disease, none of, none of that stuff taking me out of this world before my time. And before I get to see my kids live to their full potential and beyond, okay? I'm looking for a 100-year life. If I can help it. So that's that. So with all that being said, I'm, I'm starting a new diet. <laughs> all of that to say <laughs> i'm starting a new diet yes so we are doing 75 hard because the reason that i'm not able to keep off the weight after i lose the weight is because i lack discipline as soon as my diet has been over i go back to eating the same regular way so i need discipline and i feel like 75 hard is going to support me in creating and developing that discipline that your girl needs in every aspect of my life not just weight loss, but personal goals that I have for myself that I have not been able to achieve because I lack discipline. So I read up on 75 hard. And so some of the requirements are that you must work out two times a day, 
choose a diet and just stick to a diet whatever diet you want stick to it drink a gallon of water every day read 10 pages every day no fast food no alcohol okay cool beans we can do that so that's the goal for the next 75 days from jan 1st so when you see this video i would have already started my 75 hard challenge and you can follow your girl on tiktok hot mama l to see my progress because i will be posting there daily my updates yes all right but this video is not all about 75 hard it's really just like a video for myself to be like girl you got this you can do this even if you fail try again okay it's okay this is my goal for the new year just well i have other goals but this is the goal that i'm sharing with you for the new year because i need y'all to help me keep myself accountable there are films that i want to produce this year there are books that i want to write this year and there's weight that i want to lose this year and i can't do any of these things without discipline okay and because consistency that discipline is going to help me build my consistency in all aspects of life to help your girl grow for this new year i want to showcase different projects that i've been wanting to do forever some of which you have seen um, but there's so much more that i want to do so this year i'm going to be sharing more of my personal journey my personal challenges to achieving these goals that i have and i want you to to join me if you have goals i want you to share it in the comments we can support each other so i want this channel to kind of turn into a support system um we are growing so one of my focuses of course is growing here on youtube right now we're sitting at 3,000 subscribers i'm very grateful for that we will be hitting four years at some point this year so hopefully we'll have our four thousand before our four year mark or more chair okay <laughs> yeah that's a big milestone for me four is my that's my that's my number and 2024 is my year okay two two four 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 you know what i'm saying it's a double double four right there so we have to make this thing happen but it starts with discipline and consistency and so with this journey of 75 heart i hope that i can gain both of those again in my life because i've had it before um, but I've lost it at some point. And so I'm just really, really trying to get that back, that motivation back so that I can continue to succeed and we can grow to reach those levels that we want to, to get to in the future. Yeah, so that's really what this year is all about. I need y'all to really, really hold your girl accountable to these things. Comment, if you see, if I haven't posted anything like my, my, my weight loss journey updates, ask me in the comments. Okay, hey girl, what's going on with the weight loss? Hey girl, I see, um... You weren't a lot of a lot of black in your videos what's going on <laughs> and i'm not ready to tell you what i weigh maybe next week after i see the scale move in a good way i will share my weight but just know this is the biggest i've been in a very 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 long time okay so i know me saying i'm fat phobic that maybe get somebody's attention some people may take that the wrong way i'm not saying it to be offensive to anyone else i'm just telling you that you know i don't want that for myself and a lot of people are like okay what about health issues and some people can't help being fat i kind of feel like some health issues are because of fat thyroid issues and things like that i had a doctor tell me when i was living in atlanta that i had thyroid issues because my weight got up so, so of course i went to another doctor and it was a female it was a female in atlanta and she was like oh you need to lose weight and when she saw my weight go up then she checked my thyroid she's like no you something's wrong with your thyroids I'm not about that surgery life at all so i went to see a second doctor um it was a male and he was like yeah you're a thicker woman but that's okay that's fine you know some of them like thick 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 you know shapely shapely whatever and i was close to the weight that i am now a little bit less though he was like um but i don't see any issues with your thyroid so what i did was i was like i just took in the information of both of them i knew that i was a, a larger size technically obese i think let me google that what is obese for my height Five a and blah, 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 pounds is that obese? Yeah, I'm obese. <laughs> According to this obesity chart, I'm in the obesity range, child. Okay, I gotta lose. <laughs> I need to lose about. Let's see. <laughs> well, I can't lose that much. I don't want to be that little. Okay, they're trying to say I need to be 158 pounds for my height for five eight. Nah, I'm good on that. I don't want to be 158. No, I don't want to be that. But you know, we gotta we gotta get it up off us, okay? But like I was saying. <laughs> I took in the advice of both the male and female doctors and I was like you know let me just get this under control because I know that I'm bigger than I have ever been in my life at that point point. and so I went I shut down guys I went vegan for like 
a month it was actually less than a month and I lost like 22 23 pounds um, working out twice a day not going out no alcohol no bread no pasta no rice um, no junk food no fast food just straight get up work out maybe have breakfast um, maybe something simple like a salad maybe I did have some no 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 I was straight up vegan I was straight up vegan for a whole month and the weight just fell off but I literally did nothing but work out go home eat right for almost a whole month and the weight fell off no party no seeing friends no no nothing but that was discipline because I knew that I did not want to be oversized at the end i went back to the doctor and my boards were clear i had a clean bill of health in every shape form fashion everything was clear there were some other things on my on my chart that my doctor was concerned about but when i tell you after that one month of working out and eating clean that my whole system was clean clear no health concerns out of the blue and it's been clean and clear ever since but now i'm noticing my weight pick up and i'm a little bit concerned because i am getting older and i am a mother now i'm a little bit concerned about you know where the weight is now because i'm not only just where i'm bigger than i was then <laughs> i'm about to about 10 pounds on that girl okay and so we just need to get her back under control get her healthy get her fit to make sure that she's around here for a long time. And I would love for you to be around for the journey. All right, guys. So that's it. So if you're liking the video, if you, um, for, first of all, if you have any tips of some good, healthy, delicious meals, let me know in the comments below, okay? If you are also on your health journey, go ahead and let your girl know in the, health, in, in the comments below so that we can motivate each other because I'm going to need the motivation for sure. All right? So if you've made this far in the video and... First of all, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you, boo. <laughs> you are the real MVP, okay? Because of you, there is me. Thank you. <laughs> and if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, you wanna hang out with your girl, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? You can turn on the notification bell if you want to so that you'll be notified when I drop these here videos every week. We're going to try to make it up to three times a week, but at least once a week, you got your girl, okay? But we dropping these shorts every day, okay? We're going to be dropping shorts every day. But I'm trying to up my 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 full video uploads <laughs> count. I'm, just, I'm trying to upload more during the week, but you know, your girl is a full-time mother and a full-time um, employee, okay? So, I'm, but I'm going to try to make it happen for you. I'm going to try to make it happen for you, though, okay? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Oh, and whether or not you're a returning or new subscriber, hit the likey like button for your girl. Go ahead and hit that like so that YouTube can push our video out to more people looking to succeed in 2024, okay, in life, love, health, and wealth. I just made it up and it, and it rhymed. I'm a rapper. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. As always, it's your girl, L. Just Living. Love you bunches. Bye. Really wanna know how I got it like that? Cause I got a cute face and my booty so fat.